What's cracking YouTube family? It's your big homie Wayne and welcome back to another reaction video. All right, so Tim Duncan, aka the big fundamental, is arguably one of the best players to ever play the game. He's man, definitely, I say, top two or three power forwards in NBA history, man. And he right up there at the top. I mean, I would say he's probably number one power forward all time. And when those type of conversations come up about who's the best in the game, his name never comes up, man. Very, very dominant player from when he first came into the league, you know what I'm saying, up until it was time for him to get out before, you know, his knees went all bad and stuff. So here we go, man. Tim Duncan, top 10 plays of his career. Let's get into it. Between the legs, crossover move, boom, the quick spin, and the jam by Duncan. That's a heck of a move. Joe strong for the carom and gives it off to Monic. Tony. Tim Duncan! Oh. Joe strong for the carom and gives it off to Monic. Tony. Tim Duncan! Unbelievable! Oh, and that time he tells Lamar Odom, you're just too small. James. Tim rebounding it and bringing it. Ooh. Ooh, he crossed the Tim Duncan <clears throat> strolling down the lane. <laughs> Got to find a way to stop Duncan. He is in uh, a big time <laughs> lane with nine oh, already. Where he can prove that he can consistently make that shot as Avery Johnson has. Johnson finds it. Ooh. Ooh. Duncan. Avery Johnson throws it up wildly. Duncan just gets wow, in the air. Sometimes it helps to be seven feet tall. KG kind of just walked the side of the pitcher. Duncan looks it over. Oh, he shot that. Oh, he it almost looked like he passed it to himself. He did. He knew he was in trouble. He knew no one was in front of him. He threw that off the glass. That was amazing. And the Spurs take a two-point lead. Timeout, Seattle. The Spurs shooting is hit after that great start. Oh, I'm getting wild. Watch out, boys. Wild has got stuff on the Hall of Famer. To Duncan. He gets doubled. Shaq all over him. He gets away, a fadeaway. He makes it before it hits back. O'Neal with the help. Takes it to the basket. Duncan, a three-pointer. Puts it up. It's good. Tim Duncan. Three-pointer ties the game. His first three-point field goal of the season. Obviously, he doesn't take many. But what a clutch shot from Tim Duncan. Making sure that they get on the boards and they're not giving anything to the Spurs whatsoever. What a finish by Tim Duncan. A fabulous alley-oop one-handed dunk. That ball was behind him. He went up and ripped it. Nice. All right, so there was, man, Tim Duncan's top 10 plays of his career. Man, we saw some great plays out there. Um, also, great Hall of Fame talent pretty much in every single clip that we saw Tim Duncan dominating in. And, you know, growing up in L.A., as a Laker fan, huge, huge Lakers fan. We all know beginning of the 2000s, it's all about Kobe and Shaq. They dominated 3P, you know what I'm saying? The last team to actually 3P in the NBA still to this day. You feel me? Um, 
But in the years prior to the Lakers' dominance, the Spurs had won championships. Tim Duncan won a championship his second year in the league. That's never really talked about. Um, Tim Duncan came right in the post-Jordan era. He got drafted with in 97. So, you know, right in that post-Jordan era right there. And he was the face, quietly the face of the league. Even though Shaq was there. Um, you had a Shaq that was, like, young and still could play right then at that time, too. But Tim Duncan came right in, man. Came right in the rest of the conference over there. Made a name for himself. Yes, he had David Robinson on the team. Had some great, great um, veteran leadership on the team when he first got there. And then they did great. They drafted great Tony Parker. Manu Ginobili saw them in the highlights there. They had just great players on that team. But Tim Duncan was the constant for what? Like nearly 20 years on the team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, easy. Nearly 20 years on the team. I think he did 20. And... You know, the four, the four championships, multiple MVPs. Uh, he could score. He could defend. You know what I'm saying? Um, he could pass the ball. Big fundamental. And I don't know, maybe because he wasn't, his game wasn't really flashy. Um, he didn't talk a lot on the court. You know, you have stories about Tim Duncan now, coming out now. Kevin Garnett got some great stories about Tim Duncan. Um, but... He got the job done. And, you know, like I'm saying, growing up as a Laker fan, the Lakers weren't, if they weren't there, you know what I'm saying, the Spurs were there. And <clears throat> the Spurs really did um, always challenge the Lakers in the playoffs, always. Like the shot we saw, I think it was number three, where Tim Duncan had point four left on the clock. And then, you know, <clears throat> Kobe had played a great game that game. And... I think Kobe had just hit a clutch shot to get the Lakers the lead. Then Tim Duncan came down with 0.4 seconds left, hit that shot. Obviously, everybody thought the game was over. Um, <clears throat> the Lakers, you know, got, that, got the last possession. Everybody thought it was going to Kobe. D. Fish ends up with the ball, hits a great shot. We win the game, end up winning that series. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that was the year I think that the Pistons beat us in the finals. Um, that was the year we lost to the Pistons in the finals. I mean, got drugged by the Pistons. But um, the Spurs put up a great fight that season. The Spurs will come back the next season. Um, after the Pistons beat the Lakers, they will come back the next season and uh, win the finals. And, you know, Tim Duncan just cements his legacy in the NBA. And like I said, he doesn't get the recognition, man. People don't talk about Tim Duncan at all. You know, you always hear about greatest players of all time and, I think his name should be up there somewhere, man. Um, maybe because he was just quiet, but he got the job done and his teammates rallied around him. It was his team. He was the leader on that team and he was very dominant from the day he stepped on the floor. And he was a swimmer, man. He was a, he's a world-class swimmer. You know what I'm saying? College world-class swimmer as well, athlete. So what do you guys think, huh? Tim Duncan. Is he one of the top players? Are you a fan of Tim Duncan? Are you an NBA fan at all? Have you ever heard of this guy? Did you like those highlights just now? No, that's what I'm talking about. So down in the comments and let me know how you feel about this one right here. Tim Duncan's top 10 players of his career. Um, I want to do more highlights for players, man. I'm a huge sports fan. Uh, NBA, NFL, baseball, you name it. So I want to start watching more highlights here. Yeah, that was fun to watch right there. And I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. Does lots for exposure for the channel. More people see the video just like you did, so let's give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're still here, you enjoy videos like this, you want to see more videos like this, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, become a member of the family. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you can always know when we're dropping stuff off like this over here. All right, appreciate you guys kicking it with me. And as always, peace.